Radio, where we do trending topics and reality TV and live streams. So join us now. Do you need to build your YouTube channel or do you have a business or a website that you need to rebrand? Well, join us now at Empress Consults at www.empressconsults.com or hit us up on Instagram at Empress Radio. Okay, so enjoy the video now. Hey guys, we're live, so giving you a few seconds to come in. All right, we're live. Hey, everyone. So sorry about that. I had just got off of a two-hour live talking about OJ Simpson. If you guys didn't know that he passed uh, yesterday, I believe yesterday in his Las Vegas house, they said he was surrounded by family and, you know, um, RIP to him. But that is not what this video is about. We want to talk about own announcing that Love and Marriage Huntsville is returning on May 4th. So what is that, like two, three weeks from now? Yeah, about three weeks from now, three weeks and two days from now. So um, a lot of people are not feeling um, Love and Marriage Huntsville, as you guys can see in the amount of views on this video. You guys are not interested, but um, I'm just trying to see if who's going to who's planning on watching it, like what's going on in you guys' mind. Are you guys going to watch it? And then I also want to point out that people are like, where is why is Melody not in the middle, like in the other um, like in the other people's uh, in the other announcements for the seasons and stuff like melody was always in the middle of of these pictures and now melody is out on the left all all the way on the side so that gets people to thinking like melody why is melody all the way on the end and not in the middle and then martel obviously he is back filming because he why would he be in this um this picture you know um what is it called like a announcement, whatever, you know, why would he be in the picture if he wasn't going to be on the season? So Martel is definitely back. He's going to be filming. We knew that when we saw that he was filming with Stormy, we did a whole video about him filming with Stormy and um, he was Stormy's that, that party that Stormy had, he was there. Um, well, now it looks like Melody may be being pushed out because she's all the way on the end. Uh, shout out to OMFG Reality TV. So I'm going to see what she had to say. I think it's a, a she um, about this. So I guess they gave her the exclusive unless on TV said it. Anyways, so um, on TV released the, oh, okay. So the official cast photo, that's what it's called. Um, on TV released the official cast photos for the new season of Love and Marriage Huntsville. It says Destiny is back plus two new couples, Ken and Trisha. I never heard about Ken and Trisha, um, but I know that Sunny and Moses are going to be the other couple. It also goes on to say about the new season, Martel faces legal troubles. Stormy and Courtney discover an unexpected love triangle what as they reconnect with old friends oh they might be talking about destiny uh, destiny returns with a splash to confront her ex-boyfriend who is now married to a former producer of the show meanwhile leticia and marceau struggles with the pros and cons of working with family on maurice and kimmy's new investment property also melody takes the ladies on a um tropical island to work on their friendships where everyone's past comes to a head so you guys know that girl's trip is going to be a mess um Head over to my Instagram story to read more for the article from the article. So let's see here. Um, 
Does that go to the Instagram story? Boss up? I guess it's boss. All right. So we'll read that as well in a second. So anyways, um, I want to see the other pictures. Well, let's see. So this is Melody. She looks so pretty. I like that black. And then she's doing the black and white theme, you know, no gray area, she says. Martel, you know, Martel always in his finest Confederate soldier uh, suits. You know, he looks like, uh, uh, you know, you know, I'm talking about plantation owner. Um, Kimmy and Maurice, nice dress, Kimmy. I like the I like the affection that they're showing. I like it. I like it. Um, I have nothing to say other than that. Um, Maurice and Tisha, typically they're separated. You know, look what Kimmy there's, there's no space, you know, showing that there's still a little intimacy, but Letitia and Marceau, they're completely divided from the body language. Um, Tisha, makeup could have been better. I feel like they don't know how to do black women's makeup on a lot of these um, photo shoots and stuff. So the makeup could have been better. It's just, I don't know, her face looks a little strange, but the dress is pretty, the body is serving. But uh, breast could have like it could have been a little altered here around her breast area. Um, I think that's the theme with the gloves. I think they all have little gloves on. Yeah, so that's the theme with the gloves. Um, I like the cohesiveness in the pictures. You know, um, everybody looks nice. Marceau, I wish that this was the um, tie was tied, <laughs> um, but whatever. Stormy, what is going on with your hair, girl? <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna wake the baby. <laughs> Stormy, why do you have a mullet? Why? You, hold on. Why does Stormy have? I was I was going in like not being shady or anything. I can't zoom in. I wasn't planning on being shady, but what's going on with Stormy's mullet? Um, that's not a good look. But they, you know, they look nice. I guess I don't really like the dress. I don't like anything about the dress. Now that I look at it, like this white part, it's not cohesive with the black. I don't know what's going on. The shoes, they look like, you know, <laughs> some shoes you could get at the swap meet or something that don't come in a box. Shout out to Miss Wanda. Uh, Courtney, his clothes are always a miss to me as well, but at least he's not wearing no crazy colors, you know. Uh, it looks a little, a little tight, too. Um, I don't know. He's a handsome guy, but his fashion is usually a miss, you know. Um, I don't really see no cohesiveness in their picture. I thought Kimmy and Maurice looked the best in terms of couples. Um this is Nell Fletcher and Chris Fletcher. Uh, Chris looks good. I still feel like they look like like plantation owners. Like I don't know why they're dressed like this. Maybe it's a Southern thing. Um, as far as Nell Fletcher, she got her wig together, so I'm happy about that. The dress fits great. I like it. I don't have no problems. The shoes, eh, you know, they kind of look like swap me shoes as well. I'm not feeling the shoes. I like the ring. I like the ring. But, you know, at least they're like together, you know, because Leticia and Marceau, they look like they're like completely separated. I like Kimmy's look. Um, Stormy has a mullet. <laughs> Stormy and her mullet. Anyways, uh, Destiny, that's Destiny, you know, so confirmed. She's back. The shoes look good. The dress looks good. The hair looks good. I don't have no problem with Destiny's look. It looks good. It looks good. Um, and this must be the new couple. So this is Ken and Trisha. I see that they're together. You know, the cohesiveness. I see that. I like that. I don't like how his hands are in the kind of takes away from it. Um, kind of looks like he's doing the little rock um, fingers or whatever. Um, but her dress looks good. Body is bodying. You know, she has a nice shape. I like the ponytail. Um her husband, I mean, he looks fine. I, this just the hand in the pocket is throwing me off, but he looks a little older than her. I don't know. But yeah, that is my review of the pictures. <laughs> um, so that, those are the pictures. I don't know how you guys feel about that. But yeah, it looks like Martel is indeed back. Now, I want to get into this boss up article. So shout out to OMFG Reality. So let's get into this article here. Um, whoa, what's going on here? <laughs> Too many ads and stuff. Okay, so shout out to Boss Up. This is season five. <laughs> Why does it still feel like every season, like, it's like, so that's the thing about OWN. I don't know what it is, but it feels like every season, we're on a different season. I thought we were on season seven. Now it says season five, you know, and it says uh, two hours ago. So this is the new season. So we're going with that, I guess. I would have thought we would be on, like, season eight or something. But, yeah, so season five. <laughs> Love and Mary Tunspill season five. First look, two new couples and destiny returns amid a messy man-snatching allegation. I like that. 
um, own Oprah uh, Winfrey Network announced today that Love and Marriage Huntsville will soon return and Bossop got your first look at an all new season that includes two new couples and a cast members come back amid an allegation that the Love and Marriage Huntsville producer snatched her ex. So um, this is them. Like I said, I am really feeling Kimmy's look. Uh, but I didn't see that white part. I don't really like that. I didn't see that at first. I don't. It would have been better without the white train. Letitia looks great in this um, this picture. It's a Letitia and Marceau are, are not together, so that's kind of weird to me. And I noticed that about the other picture too, that they're just not standing together. That's strange. Um, Marceau Martel, he's definitely back. Um, Melody, like I said, she might be getting pushed out. It's almost like when Giselle didn't get the first chair next to Andy this season. Um, Melody is not in the middle like she usually is. Um, but anyways, let's go on to say, um, so she's in the middle in this picture. Uh, once again, the series follows. Oh, wait, I'm sorry, I went past. Bossup can exclusively report that the hit series will premiere its fifth season on Saturday, May 4th at 8 7 Central. Uh, once again, the series follows a lively group of longtime friends and frenemies with strong personalities and strong opinions who live in Huntsville, Alabama. So, like I said, this is them. Um, Letitia looks great in this picture. I have no problems with this picture. She looks good. Um, it was just probably the angle on the other one, but this is a good angle. She's just her angle. Um, Melody, Melody looks good. I like the dress. It kind of looks like metallic or something. I like that. I like that. Uh, Kimmy, like I said, it looked good in person on the other picture, but this white veil is throwing me off now, but she looks good in the face and everything. We can also confirm that the full cast is returning, meaning Martell is filming. That's confirmed, right? Um, season five of Love and Mary Tunsville will feature Melody Rogers. So this, like I said, the dress looks good. Um, her ex-husband, Martell Hole, <laughs> in his finest plantation gear. Um, Maurice and Marceau Scott. And Maurice, he did an interview uh, recently, so I'm going to show you guys a little bit of that. Um uh, this is Marceau and Letitia Scott. This was what I was saying, the angle. She, her, I guess her, her better angle is the other side, but her, her body looks good. The hips are giving. The stomach is flat. I like it. I don't like the bottom of this little, uh, I don't know what that is, fur or something. I don't like that. Stormy. <laughs> now I can zoom in. What is going on with this mullet? Oof. Look at this, you guys. <laughs> Why does Stormy have on a mullet? Courtney is a handsome guy. He has nice eyes. But what's going on with this mullet? I don't like this hair at all. Like, what's, <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> Looks like, like she's about to be in a Dukes of Hazard video or something. Like, I don't like it. Um, I don't like the dress. It looks like it was just randomly pinned on right here. Is this a purse? I don't like the purse. I don't like the skirt. I don't like nothing about it. She lost weight, so that's good. Um, Courtney, like I said, nah. Nell Fletcher and Chris, I told you guys. I don't really, I don't know. There's just something about his stance that I don't like. Um, and the hair, what's going on with the hair, Chris Fletcher? Looks like you got a perm or something. Look at this. I don't. I just don't like it. It looks like he's about to go to the Civil War or something. Um, no, Fletcher, her face is a little strong, but everything else looks good. Like I said, I don't care for the shoes, though. Destiny, I think Destiny had the best look, and I don't like Destiny, so that's saying a lot. But she, she looks perfect. I don't have no complaints about Destiny's look. She looks great. That's that's how you bring it if you're coming back to a show. Um, and then why aren't they showing Sonny and Moses as if they're just some secret, um, uh, you know, secret weapon or something? Like, where are they? But, yeah, so this is the new couple, Ken and Trish. Um, okay, so moving on. Love and Marriage Huntsville Season 5 will feature Destiny confronting her ex and the former Love and Marriage Huntsville producer who married him. We knew that. As soon as we saw Destiny, we knew that was going to be the story. Carlos King, he wants his uh, Married to Medicine quad Dr. G and Sweet Sweet um, sweet Tea. They, she, you know, they want that. He wants that um, type of dynamic, you know, where Destiny and, you know, is coming against the new, you know, Anyways, a press release reports that season five of Love and Mary Tunsville will uncover many secrets, including legal troubles for Martell. Okay, so we're going to talk about it, right? Legal troubles for Martell. Destiny going toe to toe with her ex boyfriend who married a former Love and Mary Tunsville producer. Well, Tasha K had said, Tasha K said that um, her interview will be featured on the show. So they're definitely going to be talking about that interview, Tasha K's interview. They're going to be talking about Martell getting arrested. They're probably going to make it seem like Melody filed frivolous charges or something like that. Watch, I bet. And you, of course, they're going to talk about the um, the bloggers, you know, because obviously that's going to be a storyline. All the bloggers coming against them, the bloggers. I'm tired of hearing that word, the bloggers. <laughs> a synopsis for the new season reads, Martell faces legal troubles. Stormy and Courtney discover an un 
expected love triangle as they reconnect with old friends. Destiny returns with a splash to confront her ex-boyfriend, who is now married to a former producer of the show. Meanwhile, Leticia and Marcel struggle with the pros and cons of working with family on um, Maurice and Kimmy's new investment property. Also, Melody takes the ladies on a tropical island to work on their friendships where everyone's past comes to an head. Love and Marriage Times Forward will return after the Love and Marriage DC finale. So um, shout out to Winter from Love and Marriage DC because she's been exposing Carlos King and production and how messy they are. So shout out to Winter for that. Um, the season finale is set to air April 13th um, of DC, immediately followed by part one of the reunion hosted by Carlos King. I will not be watching that um, about them. Um I don't like how they did the DC either. Like they kept the show off for like a year and then didn't even communicate with them. So I didn't like that. But that is the rest of that article, you guys. Um, the boss of article. Stormy looks like she has no neck. I just read that. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with Stormy's mullet though, but I might change my um <laughs> my instead of Empress Radio right here, it'll probably say Stormy's mullet or something like that um during the show. But so who are who do you, are you guys gonna watch the show? Oh, so I forgot about Millie Chun. So Millie Chun had this um, hot topics where she talked about Maurice and Maurice's interview that he just did. And I was like, is he ashamed of Kimmy's age? Because they, the host was like, oh, Kimmy is um, 10 years younger than you. And Maurice never corrected him. Everyone knows Kimmy is like 55 at least, like 55, 56, something like that. Um, but he didn't correct him. So look, this is it. Shout out to Millie Chun. Now, y'all know I told y'all I listened to the Why Willie show with J.J. Williams, right? They come on Tuesdays, and they really have some good topics, and I love them together. This particular Tuesday, they had a special guest, Maurice Scott. I feel like Maurice got on there, he did his Maurice thing, right? He just kind of talked over different things, but let's get into just a little of it. They kind of asked a great question. Um, you and your wife have been very open and honest about your relationship. Obviously, she's you're 10 years older than her. Um, you come to the table with three kids. She has her one. Um, I want to talk about the co-parenting aspect. One of the storylines this mm -hmm. season was, how are you going to handle your son, Monster, and everything he's going through? How do you get there? Um, I think it, it happened organically, so it was a little easier um, and we had a lot of conversations before we got married. Like, we didn't just jump into marriage. There was a lot of stuff that we had to iron out because um, she was successful doing it her way. I was successful doing it my way. Um, I did. I was divorced. So um, it was a situation of like a, matur a maturation process from that situation, you know, because uh, I was married for about six years, six, six and a half years, you know. So uh, then moving on to, you know, the new relationship, um, you know, I had, Monster was like three, you know, so he was a little, little guy. And Jalen, you know, he was a little bit older. And then, of course, you have to, you have to, uh, you have to mesh well with a young man, right? A few things. I, how old is Maurice? Right? So you guys saw that. Also, she posted another um, one where Maurice was talking about what to expect next season. So I'll show you guys Super this. Body Hold on after the ad. Provide seven I was just like, I do not like Maurice, child. <laughs> but shout out to the podcast, the Why Willie Show podcast. Nothing again. Um, I have. All right. So let me share my screen with you guys. a little bit more I want to talk about with the interview from the Why Willie show with JJ Williams when they spoke with Maurice Scott. Let's get into this about the upcoming season of Love and Marriage Huntsville. Let's go. Basically what I want to know is after the reunion of Love and Huntsville, Love and Marriage and Huntsville, where do the group stand right now? Well, I think the, the group stands where it's always stood, right? At the end of the day, I think Huh? Meaning? What, the, what is that? The, the, the relationships that were strong and could weather the storm, okay. those relationships are still tight-knit. Those that couldn't weather the storm, they uh, they float away like them leaves, right? Yeah. So, 
Um, I have to leave something to speculation because there's going to be some there's going to be some interesting twists and turns that pop up this season. Oh, wow. um, yeah, definitely. Like this is this is uh, this is going to be the curveball season, I believe, for the fans. Right? Yeah. This is the this is going to be the curveball because a- a- after a while, you you, you kind of know what to expect. Right? This is going to be expect the unexpected season. All right, so you guys heard that. So, yeah, that's what is going to be uh, on next season. It looks like Maurice is saying, you know, to expect the un- unexpected. There's some type of cast shakeup or something like that where the fans are going to be switching sides or something. He was saying, I don't know, you know, Maurice and his words. <laughs> uh, but I'm going to read some of these comments and then we'll let you guys out of here. Uh, no, <laughs> the season to the season coming back. I think the baby's waking up. So, um, Dan Martell is back. I am not watching this season. I thought Moses and his new wife were going to be on the show. They are. I don't know why they didn't have it, even though they talked about it, but they didn't have any pictures. So I don't know what that was about. Sorry, I can't uh, watch why Destiny and Martell is back. I just want to put out that I know a lot of bloggers are saying that they're boycotting the show. I never said I was going to boycott the show or anything. So I will be reviewing for you guys that are interested. And you guys don't have to, you know, if you don't want to, but I will be, you know. <laughs> I never said that I wasn't going to. Um, if the season is anything like last season, the viewership will be much lower. We are tired of seeing Martel and his foolishness, and hopefully Kimmy and Maurice has more going on. Right. Beautiful dress, Mel. Yeah, Mel looked great. I will not be watching. Stormy looks like she has no neck. Stormy, <laughs> Stormy and her mullet. Man, that's crazy. Um, Paige, boy, Marty, Stormy, Morticia, Mel looks great. <laughs> I'm watching and reviewing. Yeah, me too, Glamrocks. I, I definitely will be tuned in. Um, I won't be watching nothing that has a man who would plot revenge Pete on his ex-wife. Yeah. But I want to see, you know, him get his, uh, due, you know, um, it's going to be publicized. So I, you know, televised. So more people will be able to see what he's been doing to his ex-wife. So I'll, I want to see how they handle that situation. But I just also want to talk about, it looked like Melody is being phased out because usually, like I said, she's in the middle usually. And this time she's all the way on the left. So I don't know. I guess she's not the favorite anymore in terms of production. Uh, why the why the heck is Mel in the back behind Lemonhead and why is Martell there all in white, no less, playing in our faces? Exactly. That's exactly how I feel, too. Um, but, yeah, my baby's waking up. So I'm going to head out. So what do you guys think about this? Drop your comments below and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos from Empress Radio. Okay, bye.